Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. I am Wishblade and this is Demon Blight and I shall fight it by summoning the demons of the armor kind. Okay. Well, we got some giants. I like it. Oh, what then? Here you go. Well, I guess they're kind of armored. They do have heavy armor and they're generally kind of strong with their slow hits and everything, but not really the kind of armor that I was expecting. So, nah, nah, nah. Wimpy, whiny, something, something, I don't know. Give me some proper armor units, like suits of armor, like these. All right then, have some water. You know you want the water. Something, 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 all status ailments, because I'm cooking. I'm not sure what happened right here, but I'm sure it was beneficial in nature. So it's okay, and I'm sure it wasn't really that needed. It's fine, I, I, if I, I would have been fine even though even if it wasn't there, so it's okay. Oh yeah, it is water, it is water with you guys, so here you go, have some water. You know you want the water, I'm sure you want the water. There's nothing really to say about putting these here quarters and some lizard men. But they are not paladins, so they're not so bad. But still, they are lizard men, and lizard men must die. Like so. Hello. Oh dear. Oh my goodness, Argent Armor. It's like the Argent Dawn or the Argent Crusade or the Argent something. Or just Abbey stuff. And every everyone knows all the Abbey stuff must be dealt with. Otherwise, bad things happen. Like these, Blizzard Paladins. Those are bad people. And we must destroy them for the good of the Empire. I'm not sure what Empire we're talking about, but some kind of Empire. I'm sure some Empire in the world would be happy to have some lizard men slain in their glorious name, I'm sure. Now, what else do you got? Hello, Lava Atlas. It's nice to see you. Also, go right ahead, Rokuro. Did your blades break? I'm sure they did not because you have the most awesome blades of all time. No durability loss or anything like that. Especially now that you have Kurigane Storm Quell. Yes! You may also be able to have Storm Howl. Or did we actually leave it there in Mount Killer Mouse? We may have done that. Potentially. By the way, I'm sure we can always go back and get it because no one else is worthy of Storm Howl. But our dear boy, Rokuro, of course. Now, Paladins, would you kindly get out of my way? Also, in substantiality, I love you, man, I love you, but what were you doing over there? And why are we fighting bees? Or wasps? Or something? Why is this a thing that we're fighting? I don't know. It seems very weird. But all right, sure, whatever. I'll fight anything you throw at me, and I will defeat it. Don't you worry about that. Like so. You don't want to make me angry. Okay. Lobby said apologize for losing your temper. Oh, sorry. Come on, let the boy try to act tough. Yeah, because he is tough, just like you two. You're so cute, all of you. It's so wonderful. And nothing new, but maybe the reward. Hagler's Acerite reduces the amount of gold required for enhancing equipment. Oh, yeah. Now that is something that sounds very useful. All right, then. Now, with those out of the way, we can go to Sexton and see what is going on over there and make our way to the Empyrean's throne. We all know that's not gonna happen, oh no, but we'll go there nonetheless. Off you go, Von Eltia. So, what was it you needed to say to me alone? Where's Luffy set? He wanted to stand watch with me, but I forced him to get some rest. After all this fighting, he needs it. I owe you. That kid always tries to play the tough guy. Just like the one who named him. He's nothing like me. His motivation comes from hope. Hope. The wind is nice. Yes, the world may teem with hardship and sadness, but it's also filled with beauty. The endless ocean, the islands in the south, even the frozen tundra and the mountains that spew fire. It is. And humans make their home among all that beauty. 
This is the world that Luffy always yearned to travel. I finally understand what he saw when he sat looking out over the ocean. Eleanor, I have a single favor to ask of you. If anything happens to me, take care of Luffy said. What? Is something the matter? The power possessed by the Therians and Inominat is fundamentally the same. I have a theory. No. Theory is too rational. A different part of me, something separate from my hatred, wants me to do something. It wants me to leave this world with hope. Wait, you don't mean... <laughs> Humor me, okay? If the worst happens, I'm counting on you. I understand. You have my word. I'll look after Lafayette. While I'd love to take advantage of this momentary weakness, I can't. My oath is to obey your orders until my dying breath. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about all that. Good thing I kicked your butt after all. Oh, they're totally besties. Also, I see areas that have question marks. I must visit them very soon. Yes, indeed. Well, the suppression field is gone. And in its place, rampaging demons. We expected that. Thanks. For everything. I only did what I felt like doing. Who needs thanks for that? Let's go. We have a fight to finish with the Shepherd. That is indeed something we have to do, but there are events and skits to view. You know, Minot's power may have weakened, but I think that'll only cause more of a stir in the cities. Without the Abbey's exorcists, the people will have a hard time quelling demons. <sighs> are you crying? I'm simply coming to terms with reality. I've learned to think for myself rather than let others do the thinking for me. It's painful and frightening, and comes with great responsibility. But this is who I am now. It's on me to own up, face my fears, and keep moving forward. You're a piece of work. But I don't mind having you around. <laughs> yes. I'm not weak like I used to be. No. You aren't. You don't have to bear the weight of the world alone, though. I understand that. I will do only what I can. You always say that, but then you end up overdoing it, right? If you push yourself to the limit and it's still not enough, there's no shame in relying on others. Rokuro, thank you so much. You realize you just thanked a demon, right? I'm aware of that. And you should totally rely on Rokuro because she is so sweet. It's so wonderful. It's so gorgeous and cute. Anyway, events. We put all our faith in you because you said you could protect us. We endured all your harsh rules and laws. So how can you tell us you can't defeat the demons because you can't control Malakim anymore? We don't understand why we've lost the ability to control our Malakim. But even without my Malak arts, I will fight to my dying breath to protect all of you. So please, calm down. <laughs> I'm not listening to anything the Abbey says anymore. What are you looking at? Yeah. You there! Mean-looking guy! Get over here! I think I'll pass. Thanks. Hey! Muscles! Get back here! I'm not through with you! Please stop! I understand that you're worried and upset, but now isn't the time to be fighting amongst ourselves. Please, let us all stand together. Help us fight off the madness and the demons that threaten our world. <sighs> and if that's not good enough for you, you can face me instead. Guess I'm sorry. That exorcist has some serious backbone. Aye. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He will, he will fight to protect all the people, even though the people don't believe in the Abbey anymore. Although, the people not believing in the Abbey anymore, I count that as a success. Now, what do you people have to say? Hey, it's you! Uh, Margilu's debauchery. It's Menagerie. 
<laughs> I finally get a chance to see the famous Moggy Lou's Menagerie. I've been waiting forever to meet up with you again. Meet up with us? Why? Well, with my bad luck, I've always just missed out on seeing your splendiferous performances. So, well, I made my own menagerie. The Abbey is a mess, and people everywhere are scared. Demons abound, and, well, everyone's so gloomy. So I thought that this is exactly the time when people need something fun and happy to lift their spirits. My troop is still in training, but we're almost ready. That's wonderful. What do you call yourselves? I wanted something with power, impact. So behold, we are the Dark Wings. Dark Wings. Huh. Hey, what gives? That's a terrible reaction. You're trying to cheer people up, right? So why dark? And dark wings only make me picture crows. Or bats, maybe. Really? When I think of the dark wings, I think comedy. Hmm. Maybe I should rethink this. Oh, I got it! We'll be the Dark Smiles! Hmm. Sounds like you've got a pretty dark sense of humor. You really want to go with such a dark-hearted name? Okay, fine. The Dark Magic. No, the Dark Circus! No, no, that's no good. The darkest hour! The dark... Maybe you could try losing the dark part. Hmm, good point. All right, then. How about this one? The Peddlers of Joy! We don't accept solicitations. <sighs> fine, fine, forget you. I made my decision. We're Darkwing Menagerie of Comedy, and that's final. You really went all out. Still, you've got zing, kid. Here's hoping you have many dark years to come. Magikazam! Thanks! That makes us rivals now, but still, from one entertainer to another, good luck. About that Magikazam of yours? You only use that spell when you couldn't care less what happens, right? What this world needs now is a good dose of apathy. Am I right? But here's hoping you have many dark years to come. That's not very nice at all, is it? Magikazam! Oh, Makilu. Magikazam is the little wonderful spell. I'm... I, it's so wonderful. This is no words for it. Oh, well, I guess we're only missing one thing from this goddamn place now, so Scout. there you go. Off you go. And one more event of you before we go on to somewhere else. Who knows where we'll be going. And there was something I wanted to say. Well, it wasn't that I wanted to say. Oh, yeah, Dark Wings. Another Tales reference. And I believe it is actually in multiple games, maybe. But I'm fairly certain, the one I can remember, that's Tales of the Abyss. Now what is this person all about? I can't get my hands on nectar or a good drink anymore. But thanks to that, I've finally seen the light. I tried drinking lots of different things to help cope with my cravings. And I discovered that a nice cup of tea really does the trick. You can't give kids the heavy stuff. But tea? Kids? Adults? The elderly? Everyone can enjoy it. That's a good, positive point of view. I'm thinking about using my life savings to open a tea shop filled with tea from all over the world. Rather than let ourselves get all worked up panicking over the demons, we'd be better off sitting down with a nice cup of relaxing tea. It'd be wonderful if you sold some tasty pies or cookies there, too. I know, right? I need to find some baked goods that go well with tea. <laughs> Maybe I can find a girlfriend while I'm at it. Well, good luck with that. Thanks. Speaking of which, are you single? Sorry, I think I'll pass. <sighs> yeah, figured as much. Stop flirting with Eleanor. She is spoken for because of Rokuro. But otherwise, it's a great idea. The drunken sailor's gone so far. It's so wonderful. Now, side quest time. And I suppose I could go outside on the direction that I need to go just because, well, I don't know. Some reason, sure, because I am actually looking for a certain something to happen, but maybe it won't happen until I go outside. No, it will not. Well, all right then. I'm not sure when it activates. It's a certain skip that should be activated at this point in time, but I don't know. Maybe I need to do a little something else. It'll show up eventually. I am sure of it. Now, what should we be doing? Well, first of all, I'll tell you that if you don't have Voyage to level 15 in your expeditions at this point, and unlock the Critian Archipelago, then you should go around doing that right now, because it's needed for a side quest that we will be doing very soon. 
Now, first and foremost, I think I want to go to Stonebury, because there are events to view. Yes, talking, 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 and more talking. It's so fun, isn't it? Also, game, stop slowing down. Why do you slow down? I don't want you to do this. Oh, well. Where the hell? Oh, there you go. Hello? At last, the Nordal set is complete. Hooray! Go us! Turtles! Turtles! Just in time for the winner circles. Your detective skills truly put mine to shame. It wouldn't have taken so much time and effort if you'd been willing to help us look. But you'll make it up to us with a suitable discount next time we trade. <laughs> Can't you give me a break? Never mind. Do you have anything for us? I do mind that. But yeah, here's another letter for Aizen. Another one? I will keep this missive short as my patience with you has expired. Come to the prison island and face your judgment. I will not blame you if you run, but I will consider you a heartless coward of a brother. Oh, this sounds like a challenge to a fight. Now we're talking my language. Let's get going. Whoever this is, they're just trying to get under your skin. Why not let it go and move on? This is the third letter, not counting any that might not have reached us. I say we should go nip this in the bud. Yeah, I think so too. If we just keep ignoring it, something might happen to Aizen's sister. Exactly. I can't allow that. I want to head to Titania and settle things. All right then. We will we will definitely do that. We will go to Titania eventually. Not right now. There's still more talking to do. And is there something in the inn? Yes, there is. Yeah, I, my notes did say five events. So it's like, there's only four. Is it in the inn? Yes, it is. Also, can I open this, maybe? Potentially? Nope. All right, then never mind. Hello. We were hoping we could put on a comedy act here. Sure, but who's your partner? Me. I'm going to be honest. I think you'll be the worst of any of them. You just underestimate me. I have my own sense of humor. Just act like we're both aboard the Von Eltia. I already have a bad feeling about this. All right. You can play the strong, forceful type, and I'll be the dumb, slow one who... No. I want to play the dumb character. Are you sure you can handle that? I'll have everyone dying from laughter the way only a Reaper can. I don't think I like where this is going. Hi there! We're your friendly comedy duo, Death by Laughter! Magic Kazam! Huh? He just stole my line! Thank you all for coming here to see us today. Now, when you think of Rakugo, you of course think of classic characters like Hatsuan, Kumasan, Oyasan, and there's the neighborhood retiree, and Yotaro the Fool, who... Whoa, 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 hold it! What are you rambling on about? Does it matter? I'm just trying to get a feel for the audience. Every comedian does it. Not anymore! Speed is key nowadays. Speed! You need to be snappy and get straight to the point! Well, I object. Comedy that forgets the old classics has no future. What's old is tired. Comedy is always evolving. It has to! <laughs> you must be some new wave type then. Did you just click your tongue at me? No. You totally did! I heard that! I'm the leader here, and don't you forget it! If you respect comedy, then respect my authority! I'm sorry. All right, as long as you understand. Now, what are you thinking of doing today? I was thinking of maybe imitating a clock. T -t 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 -t. Cut that out! I can't take this anymore, you're impossible! It's been a while since I worked so hard. We really tried to practice so the jokes would land. How do you think it went? <sighs> your jokes were... okay, I suppose. But your partner was so intimidating. <sighs> I couldn't laugh. Huh? Oh, can't say I'm surprised. That was beautiful! Oh, look, another event showed up. That was beautiful! <laughs> Oh, that is just silly. Well, no one's surprised that someone like Eisen is 
old school comedy, I guess. But just that evil look at the end after imitating a clock and just jumping in there being all like, Magic Sam! Beautiful, gorgeous, breathtaking. She had the idea to build a great bell tower and make it the symbol of our town. We'll make the tower out of stone, tall and proud. Then we'll hang the biggest bell in the land here. The wind whistling down from the mountains will carry the sound far, far away. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah, it sounds great. Where are you going to quarry the stone? The stone we get from the mountains near here is dense and smooth. Perfect for constructing buildings with. You know your rocks. When I was deciding on where and what to farm here, I spent a lot of time researching the nearby geology. Not only does she have the knowledge, she has a great logical mind. She's been a terrific help in getting this plan off the ground. And he's got the good ideas. But he tends to leap before he looks. Since I don't get flashes of insight like he does, he's given me all sorts of ideas for improving my farm. Now we're trying to find the perfect metal for the bell. The metals and their ratios used when casting the bell will change its sound dramatically, right? That's right. We're testing all sorts of alloys, trying to find one that produces a smooth, pleasing sound. I hope you can find a sound that will soothe the hearts of those both near and far. It sounds like a wonderful plan you got there. Your town shall be very, truly, spectacular, glorious, just the most amazing thing in the world. Now, what do you have to say all of a sudden? Every time this time of year comes around, I can't help but think back on that terrible accident. Can you tell us about it? This was all quite a long time ago, but a carriage transporting suspects to a heresy trial fell down a ravine. I was the one who first found them, and let me tell you, it was a nasty sight. Oh right, I remember hearing about this. Well, these were people who'd made a killing running dodgy shows, so their luck might have just caught up with them. Did anybody survive? Apparently not, but I heard there was one body they never found. Right. She was a girl they'd made a part of their show. I heard they really abused her and forced her to work for them. I hope she managed to escape, but I don't know. There were rumors that a strange spirit saved her life. As if anyone could believe a story like that. Yeah, I heard that too. But the crash happened in the deep mountainside wilderness. It's much more likely that she was eaten by a beast. I'm surprised you know so much about it. It happened when I was still young. Exactly how old are you, Magilu? As old as my tongue and a little older than my teeth. <laughs> From your reaction, I can at least tell you're not my age. Yeah, Magilu, you're... You're not young in the same respect as some of the other people in our party, that's for certain. So, hmm. Oh well. Hey! Aren't you the guy with the wine or something? Have you succeeded in your glorious quest or something? I still have a long way to go before I perfect my new drink, but I did discover something useful already. If you steep the radish bells in barley wine, the poison is denatured, leaving behind a hearty flavor. Sounds like snake wine. Exactly. That's where I got the idea. So, can I get a taste of your new concoction? Don't tell me I have to wait 50 years for this one, too. I just started brewing it up. It should be ready after the summer. But my intuition is telling me to let it sit for four years. In that case, we'll come back next autumn. Make sure to save enough for two. Nah, two won't be enough. I want to treat the whole crew. How much can you make by then? I've already prepped three large barrels. If I push, I could probably ready another seven. Great. Make them. I'll pay for all seven. And we'll split five barrels in the autumn. What? And we'll come for the other two in four years' time. Right, Eisen? No. We'll only take one more. The last one is yours to sell as the town's specialty. Oh, thank you. I'll make sure it's delicious. Looking forward to it. Oh, all the dreams that are coming true! Oh, you guys are so sweet! It's all so sweet! I get that! I'm gonna burst! I'm gonna burst with happiness! Well... And when you burst with happiness, and you just can't deal with it anymore, then you should go to the inn and sleep. Like so! Benwick told me that you can mop the floor with the water you've used for washing rice. 
And it'll make the wood shiny. Is that true? It is. Not only does it get the floor clean, it'll put on a layer of rice bran oil at the same time. Two birds with one stone. Wow, that's awesome. I didn't know that. Yeah, rice water has a lot of uses. The first time you use a new earthenware pot, boil rice water in it, and you'll extend its lifespan. And if you use it when you're rehydrating dried fish, it'll tenderize it and take away the fishy smell too. And if you water plants with it, it acts as a fertilizer. It's really useful stuff. Wow, look at you, Velvet. Maybe I could see you with a family after all. You don't have to act so surprised. Still, I've never read that in any of my books before. How did you end up learning all that? I learned from Salika, who learned it from our mom. It's just been passed down across the family. Wow! What else did you learn from your sister growing up? Selica taught me everything our mom knew about cooking, from the basics to more advanced techniques. Speaking of which, rice water is really useful when cooking, too. If you use it to boil radishes, it'll get rid of their bitter taste. When you use it to boil bamboo shoots or burdock roots, they'll soften and take on a nice white color. My mother taught Salika that anyone who threw away rice water wasn't qualified for housework, and my sister passed it on to me, too. You know so many cool things! When I needed to make my bra... When you need to make a child eat their vegetables, it'll go over better if you can cook them tender and not so bitter. I bet you'd make a pretty good mom one day, Velvet. You really think so? Actually, since you're here, Bianfu, I have to ask. Those are discarded vegetables on your tray there, aren't they? Yeah, but they're just raw scraps left over from cooking. I was on my way to throw them out just now. What are you talking about? That's all still good stuff you can use. Look at those radish leaves. Dice them up, fry them in oil, add soy sauce, cooking wine, bonito flakes, and sesame seeds, and voila! A perfectly healthy topping for rice. And that potato skin? If you wipe the inner side on a mirror, it won't fog up. Put some salt on those lemon rinds and you can use them to scrub a wash basin sparkling clean. Holy cow, Velvet! You're a treasure trove of knowledge! You know what's been bothering me? These pirates are way too wasteful with their food. They leave so much garbage. Uh, you might be getting a little carried away here. Yeah. I think you've made the jump from potential mom to bothersome in-law. Oh, be nice, people. Be nice to Mama Velvet. She's so sweet with all her life hacks and all that wonderful stuff. Now, there's no music around here. I'm not a fan of that. So, I will go somewhere else entirely. It shall be Isolde. Meaning I can also go to Palamedes and stuff to pick up that geo tree that I forgot about last time. I think I'll do that, but I will do that in the next episode, and then I will go inside Isuld, where there are more events and things to view. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see you later.